Uh, but uh, this is a great little slasher about a crazy doctor or a crazy person who thinks he's a doctor and goes around cutting people up in a small town. Uh, definitely great. And uh, I just happened to notice a note on the back. Uh, the makeup was done by KB Effects. So there's a, there's a little factoid about this film for you. And uh, it's taken me a long time to actually watch this movie, uh, to, to purchase and watch this movie, but I'm glad I did. It's uh, The Ice Cream Man with Clint Howard. And um, it's a very, uh, you know, because when I first saw him, like, Ice Cream Man, how can that possibly be a good slasher film? It's, it's an Ice Cream Man. And, you know, I'll, it's Clint Howard, and, you know, I, I was just, I, I was very unsure of it. But I... I Saw a small snippet from it. I'm like, dude, I've got to see this movie, and uh, I finally I purchased it finally and watched it. And wow, this is probably one of my my new favorite slasher films. Uh, this this is released by the same company that released Jack Frost on DVD. Again, another kind of unconventional killer that I I don't have. I used to have the second one on blue or on uh, DVD, but uh, it was not as good as the first one, so I got rid of it. Um, but this is a great movie, and I found out that this movie was actually directed and had a lot of stars in it um, from uh, from uh, porn films. Uh, the director of Edward Penis Hands directed this film, um, so I thought that was really interesting. One of the guys that I follow on Twitter, uh, he, he uh, I, I was tweeting about this movie, and he mentioned that because uh, he studies erotica, and he uh, he had mentioned that. Um, he also mentioned that uh, a lot of that information was in the uh, the shock films or shock movies, shock cinema, shock cinema um, book uh, about uh, about uh, various horror films. So uh, if you haven't seen this yet, pick it up. It's got great gore gags in it. It's got you know a great storyline. Clint Howard is absolutely great as the uh, as Gregory Turner, the Ice Cream Man. And uh, I'm not going to give much more away than that. I'm just going to say, if you haven't seen this yet, and you ha haven't given it a chance because you thought it was a bad idea, in my opinion, you're, you, you may be wrong. Uh, so definitely pick this one up and check it out, because um, I really enjoyed it. And uh, now I'm going to get into the actual full, full moon segment of it, which this is going to kind of be a full moon retrospective, um, because um, uh, well, I've gotten a ton of full moon movies here recently, and um, I grew up watching the Full Moon movies in the 90s as a, as a, a uh, preteen even, uh, before I was even a teenager. I've been in the, into horror movies since I was very young. Uh, so I'm going to start off with uh, Dave Parker's, and I've shown this numerous times before, as The Dead Hate the Living. This was released by Full Moon Pictures. Dave Parker, uh, an amazing director uh, for uh, in, independent films. He also directed The Hills Run Red, which I've shown um, before that I, that I have. Um... And he also put together a lot of the video zones, from what I understand. Um, Dave Parker is great. This is a great little independent zombie film with cues from Fulci and Argento. The colored lighting is great. The genre references are great to David Warbeck and Fulci and, uh, you know, the Chainsaw Awards from Fangoria. Uh, if you haven't seen this yet and you, can, and you can still find a copy, get it and watch it, especially if you're a zombie movie fan or a fan of Fulci or Argento films or a fan of, you know... The uh, uh, you know a fan of horror movies in general, I guess, and, and making movies. And next, I'm going to talk about Stuart and Gordon's Castle Freak. Uh, Stuart Gordon is definitely no stranger to uh, Full Moon Pictures. In fact, he also directed The Pit and the Pendulum, and uh, this film also stars such uh, Stuart Gordon um, regulars as Jeffrey Combs, who's in the the leading role. And uh, Barbara Crampton, uh, great, great movie. I love Stuart Gordon's films. This is one of his best, in my opinion. And in fact, his, his one of his absolute best. Uh, I, I believe this one's still loosely based around love, some of Lovecraft stories, but um, definitely captures that gothic atmosphere and old castles and some creepy, you know, de deformed freak wandering around and doing nasty, nasty things. So if you haven't seen this one yet and uh, you can still find a copy, again, check this one out. It's a great, great movie. 
I'm going to talk about this one. I had never seen them before, but I, I, I saw them out, and I, I'm like, dude, it's full moon. It's got to be good. Uh, Evil Bong and Evil Bong 2 King Bong. I will admit, I, I've watched most of Evil Bong, and I kind of skimmed through Evil Bong 2 because, well, I was it was before work one day, and I just haven't had a chance to to follow up and give the, these the viewing they deserve. Uh, Evil Bong was pretty cool. In fact, it kind of got me on this full moon kick again because there's a lot of cameos from other full moon characters in it. And for those of you that aren't aware, full moon kind of specializes in movies about tiny killing, tiny creatures, tiny monsters that run around and kill things. And that's been true since the uh, the Puppet Master series and the Demonic Toy series, which um, are great, great also. So, uh, I liked Evil Bong, and uh, from what I've seen of Evil Bong 2, it looks like it's going to be pretty good, too, so I can't wait to, to finish watching that. And the same is kind of true of Ginger Dead Man uh, and Ginger Dead Man 2, The Passion of the Crust. Um, I've, although I've watched more of, of both of these than I did uh, Evil Bong and Evil Bong 2, uh, I've almost completely finished Ginger Dead Man and uh, almost completely finished Ginger Dead Man 2. Again, before work, and didn't have I haven't had time to follow up and give these the viewing they deserve. Uh, Ginger Dead Man's great. Gary Busey's in it. How can you not love that? He's just as crazy as ever. Um, of course, he ends up becoming a uh, a gingerbread man that runs around and kills people. And I thought that was really great. the The sequel is also very cool. It involves him running around on a movie set where it's funny because. Well, movie sets actually. There's there's m multiple movie sets that uh, he's running around on, uh, and it's. Kind of, I wonder if, if Ginger Dead Man Two some semi autobiographical of Full Moon Pictures, uh, because it's you know, kind of the whole low budget film studio and you know the things they have to deal with with you know cast and money and uh, you know day to day stuff of shooting the picture sets and and things happening to props and sets and whatnot, but. Uh, very good and uh, interesting note about this: John Carl uh, Bleeker plays the one of the directors in this movie, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, did some of the special effects in this also. Uh, but I mean, the, the second one's worth it alone just for his appearance in it, and the fact that they they're shooting a movie in it called Tiny Terrors, which is kind of a riff on Demonic Toys and Puppet Master, and. I'm not going to spoil it, but some of the, the tiny tears are just absolutely hysterical, and I was laughing my butt off. So definitely check these out if you haven't seen them yet, uh, and I can't wait to, to completely experience both of these movies all over again. And I have mentioned this box set before, but it bears mentioning again, the Subspecies Epic Collection. This has all five Subspecies films, including the Vampire Journals prequel. Um, uh, Echo Bridge Entertainment has been re, uh, releasing some uh, three packs of Full Moon Pictures and two packs. In fact, uh, the the Killer Bong and Ginger Dead Man ones that I just showed you are Echo Bridge releases. Uh, this particular box, and they also have Puppet Master, and they also have the first three uh, subspecies films on uh, on DVD. And one of the Echo that was an Echo Bridge release. Um, and that was really the the first time you could easily obtain a copy of Blood uh, or Subspecies Three on DVD. Uh, four you can still kind of find around some places. I used to have a copy till I bought this box set, and I gave them to my father-in-law. Uh, and I didn't. The only ones that I didn't have aside from uh, already before I bought the box set was were Parts Three and Vampire Journals. Um, but again, these are all great movies. The four is kind of it, it's still a good movie, but. You could tell that it was it was kind of a stretch from the the first three. The first three are by far the best in my opinion. Vampire Journals was okay, but uh, it it was cool to kind of see you know Radu's protege and and uh, his storyline uh, you know, from a different perspective. But um, I kind of wished that there would have been more Radu in it or more mentioning of Radu in it to to give more give him more backstory. Uh, but again the the uh, the first three are great. They're all great, and this is a great box set. So I, I'm gonna say if you can find the the three Echo Bridge release, the the first three, pick it up, and, and definitely if you can find the box set, pick it up. Another Echo Bridge three pack 
uh, Dollman and Demonic Toys. So this has Demonic Toys, Dollman, and Dollman vs. Demonic Toys. Uh, I loved Demonic Toys growing up. Uh, I never really uh, watched Dollman, and I haven't seen Dollman vs. Demonic Toys yet, but uh, those are definitely ones I'm going to have to watch here soon. Uh, again, love Demonic Toys. So they have a Demonic Toys 2, which I haven't seen yet, and they, they also have Demonic Toys vs. Puppet Master, which I've seen most of, and it's it's pretty cool just for the fa the fact that they made it. Uh, and it's one that I want to own at some point, but I don't have it yet. Uh, and segueing into into my next box set here, Puppet Master, the seminal Full Moon title. Puppet Master started off Full Moon in 1989, and it's one of the it, it it's I'm gonna say it's my favorite of their franchises, just because uh, of the nostalgia nostalgia that it brings to me. Every time I think or hear or watch one of the movies or, you know, watch one of the video zones or even watch the trailers. And this has all nine movies. So if you have the older box set, you're missing a couple of movies. You're, mo you're missing Puppet Master The Legacy and Puppet Master Axis of Evil. And this box set has them both. Um, and they're all great movies in my opinion. Although Puppet Ma Master The Legacy is more of a... It's trying to straighten out the, chronolo uh, the, the chronological order of the films. And um, it's basically a bunch of clips from the older films um, strewn together with some, some new footage that's very sparse compared to the, the recycled footage. Um, and um, like it's funny because Puppet Masters uh, Part 4 and 5, they, they skipped 4 essentially and went straight into Part 5. Which is okay because, well, you can kind of lump those two in, in together. Because the reason why I say that is because they give you a recap in Part 5 of what happened in Part 4. And they use the same recap in Puppet Master the Legacy. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, again, the first three are great. I, I even love Parts 4 and 5. Curse of the Puppet Master was cool. It's it it's in the vein of, you know, movies of like Curse of the Fly where, uh, you know, it's another sequel in the series. But they kind of took it in a different direction. Uh, Retro Puppet Master was cool because it's kind of a, it was a prequel. Uh, Retro Puppet Master is a prequel of sorts, as is Puppet Master Three, and uh, Puppet Master Axis of Evil is also it's kind of a sequel prequel. That's all I really have for this segment of Ruby Demons Movie Morg. I hope to be buying some more movies soon, and uh, whenever I get a chance, I will do another Movie Morg and show you that. Uh, but uh, work's been keeping me really busy these days, so that's kind of why it's been. A longer lapse between movie morgues, and uh, I appreciate uh, the the comments and the links to your videos and and uh, everything that you guys, uh, all your guys' support. Uh, that's why I continue to do these, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, thanks for watching again, and I will see you next time here on Uber Demons Movie Morgue.